What's going on guys and welcome back once again to another control video. So in the last video we were able to control uh close this control point, whatever the heck that means. Um now we gotta cleanse the his corrupted agent, which is where? I know we were talking to Pope, I think was her name. Um, let's see if there's anything in here that we could read to learn some more information. Alright, control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control points in the blank arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are dis are discovered by blank detection of an unobstructed ping using the blank within a 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or blank or vulnerable spots at the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is the control points are susceptible to external influence which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be blank. Refer to file 725-2788 for full report. Alright, so that gives us a little bit of insight on what exactly control points are and what they do. Um, so I think this is the corrupt agent that um, Pope wants me to kind of try to see if I can cleanse. has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Okay, yeah, um, that's not good. So... Jesse, over here. Over where? We need to make a plan, Jesse. Over here? Are you up the stairs? Oh, you're up here. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or uh, suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. 
That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Okay. There are no stupid questions. The door so to the comms a... department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Yeah, we gotta enter the Follow the signs department. to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Thank you. Whatever the hell your name is, I forgot already. Alright, uh, so we gotta enter the communications department to find the hotline. I already forgot where she told me to go. Um, what's this? Uh, that's clearance level three that we do not have access to. What is that? That that's a jukebox. But why is it contained in a box like that? Anyways, we gotta go find ourselves the hotline. Alright, so... Where do we have to go? There's like no signs anywhere. Communication department this way, so we'll go this way, I guess. There it is again. Our welcome message. There is something up there, I just wanted to go check it out real quick. Energy recovery mod. So I don't have access to that, I guess. Um, so let's come over here. Ooh, I'm so, so very sorry, sir. Just stepped all over your dead body. Oh, Jesus Christ! Was that all of them? I hope that was all of them. Let's open up this box here. But undefined reading. Alright, so we got ourselves some traveler costs. Visited the following Nevada accommodations Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, Inn and In and Out, Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear, Motel. Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge. Combination: eight hundred thirty-one dollars and twenty-nine cents. Meals: seven hundred fourteen dollars and eighty-four cents. Gasoline: two hundred ninety-five dollars and twelve cents. Minibar: three hundred 
$313.61. I do wonder if a motel call, called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, <laughs> right? Uh, and for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rally and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road. Agent L. Hines. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Alright, um... Yeah, so that's Trench. Um... Yeah, we already listened to that. That sound is very annoying. Oh boy. That's the nostalgia department. Um, where exactly is... I kind of don't want to go that way. Um, let's head downstairs, because I'm thinking that that might be... Oh, oh god, something's firing at me. Not an enemy, but those guys are. Come on, come on, recharge faster, please. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, we actually discovered. i um, got another collectible thing here. It's called Hiss Barrier. The Hiss Resonance Field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss Barriers appear as ways to, to impede escape or access by Bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple con concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-concentrated sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction made does the distinction make any difference when considering the his? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file blank for full report. Alright, so that gives us a little bit more backstory on what these hiss barriers are exactly. Um, the cafeteria. It's a shelter down here, so maybe there's someone in the shelter? It doesn't sound like there's someone in that shelter. Um, we'll read this first and then we'll enter the shelter. How about that? Alright. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Blank deaths were reported in the how to go in information has managed. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been blank. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in their ears. This lasted for blank minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cord cordoned off and the embassy. Staff were transported to the continental U.S. After f 
After formula I-9 was redirected in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau of Examination. See case file AI-85 for details. Okay. That's a bit odd. Let's get this open real quick and get ready to... What is that? I, I don't want to go in there, but at the same time, I'm a bit intrigued in what's going on here. Yeah, it's not safe to go in there, so I'm not going to go in there. Alright, let's, um... I still gotta find the communications department. Communication department is straight ahead. Where is it up? Oh, well, there's a map. Central Executive. We want. You are here. Communications department is above us. Okay. Got it. Alright, so let's head over there. We'll see what we have to do with the hotline. I'm not going there yet. That's still kind of scary. Uh, but I guess over here? Over there? I really have no idea where this... You know what? Maybe we do have to go this way. Nope, 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 nope. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay. Yeah, the, that's... That is a very bad place to go, so I'm not going back there... ever. Um... Here's a map again. You are here. So we have to come down here, go through here to get there. The communication department right there. Alright, so let's, um, not that way. So let's do that. Sector elevator. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Hey, my picture's already on the wall. As the new director. It's kind of odd. Alright, um... We were already in there. This sign right here says the communications department is this way. But it doesn't seem to be this way. There's a map. And so I'm there. The communication office, I believe, is that yellow marker there. So if we come down here. And go through these doors that I didn't see. Come on, get get around. All right, there we go. Dead letters. Why are the letters dead? Oh boy, I don't like all the floating people here. Come on. 
Did I get him? I think I got him. Alright, um, there's something over here. Machine God. I had a dream. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that would... That will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A God, a new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster, and the fans plus the timing belt from my dad's cars, from my car's engine, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me with the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Okay. Um... Oh boy. Oh shit, there's stairs over there. Oh boy. Where are you going? Why are you backing up? Uh, he got all of his shield back because he backed up. There's another guy coming. Uh, there's more guys showing up. These guys are not dead yet. Come on, I know you're still over there. Oh, we went down the stairs. I think he's dead. I would love to be able to fight these guys over here, but I don't exactly see where they are. So let's come down this way. What's this? It is so dark I can't see a single thing. Signing fish. Singing fish, not signing fish. All right, Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem, and you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not the real fish; it sings when you hit a button. But it, it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says a lot of says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because house because of that fish, and you gotta come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. All right. Something about a singing fish, I guess. Uh, what's in here? House memory. All right. 
Alright, what can we personal mods? Um, let's go with the energy recovery. Actually, no, we don't have any energy. Let's go with the health recovery at the moment. Um, I think that one's good for now. Oh, I don't like this place. Got some more house memory. Oh god! Uh, run, 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 run! Why aren't you running? There we go. Come on, recharge, recharge, faster, faster, faster. Alright, that takes care of that guy then. Oh god, where did that guy come from? Alright, there's a guy going to be coming up the stairs here. Sounds like it's over. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more people coming up. So I'm just gonna come in here, investigate it a little bit over here, real quick, and then we'll head into that downstairs level area. Alright. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Ledger's archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the ledgers. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undelivered, undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erone erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So, thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead ledgers. P. Bartwell. That sounds like a nice guy. I wish I had a flashlight. Is there a flashlight in this game? As far as I know, no, there isn't a flashlight. Or the game would have told me about the flashlight. So I think it's about time we head down in that lower level. It seemed like there was less enemies that time than there were the other time when I was fighting them. Um, so just gotta keep your eyes peeled. I don't like any of what's going on here. All of it is just terrible. Now, how do you get up there? Okay. Well, anyways, this is a control point, it looks like, so, um... Let's cleanse it. The room should return back to normal. For the exception of the floating people. That's still a thing. Um, communications department is right through this door. So. Communications. I say we right go track. right in. Upstairs, maybe? Through this 
Oh, there's a crate here, so let's open up the crate. Um, undefined... Oh, that's a... material. I thought it was a reading item. Alright, so let's go downstairs. And we'll head to the hotline, I guess. Ooh, I don't like that sound that you make when you walk through the blood. That's nasty. Sir, are you okay? Just, what are these? Oh, that's a hiss barrier, isn't it? It's kind of what it looks like. Anyways, I don't want to go into that room that the guy just got pelted with by a, a container of some sorts. Um, so let's come in here first. We'll see what there is in here. House memory. Kind of useful, I guess. I really don't know what to use the materials for. Book club notes for Penty by L. Sampson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, <laughs> this was all right. The title, unless you could refer to, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I, I guess. But I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns, space hippies, or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms? And that space dogfight between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up! What kind of... What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story but getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly? His deaths didn't seem... didn't feel necessary at all. Alright. That was interesting. That was almost like what happened to this guy. Oh, that's just that thing closing. It's almost kind of what happened to you now, isn't it? Object of power. Like oh God! Okay, okay, okay. I need to um, collect my thoughts before I actually go in there. Okay, I didn't expect that thing to be shooting stuff at me. All right, we're gonna have to go in there. We're gonna have to dodge a bunch of stuff. So let's go. Go 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 go. Run! Okay, it hit me. It hit me. Go 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 go. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. They can't see me from up here. Go, 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 go. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Oh, okay, okay, those things break. Run! Oh, boy. This is not fun at all. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? 
I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay, then. Anyone want to take a rock to the face? Alright. I guess that actually makes sense if we go back here and grab the energy recovery mod. That way we recover our energy a bit faster. Do I have to break that? Or what's what's going on? I don't know what's going on or if it's getting any worse, but um That rock up will throw it over at that guy, and let's just finish that guy off with the gun. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I gently place objects down? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Can I please shoot you? God, and he has his energy back. Alright. Oh! Did someone just throw a grenade or a rocket launcher or something at me? Okay, um. I just picked up a piece of the floor. Yeah, I guess that'll work. I can just pick up anything I want. Wait, okay, there's no stairs over there. He's got to come back around. Oh no, there are stairs over there. They go up. Well, I'm going to have to go up as well. Don't mind if I take you. Okay, that's a person. Uh, I believe he's dead. Oh, this has changed combat in this game quite a bit. That I can just pick up whatever I want and throw it. So sick. Still don't have clearance to access level 1. But... Alright, so we're proceeding through the communications department, however on that note, we I'm going to have to end this video for today. Alright, um, made some pretty good progress, we actually got our very first power, the telekinesis power, which is 
sick. It's so cool being able to just, you know, I mean, sure you can pick up these objects too, but it's so cool that you can just pick up the floor, or you're able to pick up the floor in there. But you can just pick up anything and just throw it, and that feeling you get, just being able to throw it, and the force that you feel behind it. Damn, and the way that it, when, as it passes through the air, it knocks other objects down. It's so, so cool. Anyways, that's going to have to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps me out a lot. If you are enjoying this particular game and hopefully games like this in the future, don't forget to hit that like button so I know that you guys are enjoying it. And if you have any sort of suggestions down in the comment section um, below, you can leave them down there. That was... I worded that really weirdly. What I wanted to say is if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below for whether it's any other games you would like to see on this channel or any type of different content you might want to see. Um, I'm willing to try and branch out into other different um, types of content. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.